Let's talk about a few tools that make complex selections easier. Now you can see here, if we wanted to select the horse and the woman or just the woman, it would be difficult to do because there aren't a lot of geometric shapes, right? We don't have, for example, rectangles or ellipses that are pronounced that we could use with the rectangular or elliptical marquee tool. The polygonal lasso tool really wouldn't work. So we don't have a lot of polygons here. We could take the lasso tool, which allows us to make a freehand selection and try and select it. You've got to have pretty good hand-eye coordination and a pretty sensitive mouse to do this well. And you can see I'm missing all sorts of areas. This is good for small freehand selections, but kind of hard to do for larger selections. There is another tool in this stack called the Magnetic Lasso Tool. And what the Magnetic Lasso Tool does is it basically looks for areas of color difference and makes the selection based on the contrast. So here I'm having a fairly easy time selecting her blue jeans. And that's because again, there's kind of a pronounced line there kind of missed over here a little bit where her blue jeans are, but you can use this magnetic lasso tool when you've got that kind of contrast. Look at the nice selection it made here in the front of the dream jeans here. There's less contrast. We could go and click up here in the selection bar to add to selection. And we could use other selection tools to try and add this area to the selection like we just did that'll add that part of the jeans kind of correct that. So that looks a lot better. Now there's one more tool here that I really like, and that's just below the magnetic lasso. And that's the quick selection tool. The quick selection tool is designed for just kind of dragging over a figure or object and making a quick kind of rough selection. Sometimes it gets it exactly right. Sometimes it doesn't. You need a lot of contrast. I think if we actually just tried to select the woman here, you can actually just kind of click and drag. You can always hit control Z if it selects a part that you don't want selected, but see how it's making this nice selection here. We're getting even right there in her hands and her hat you got her face and it makes a pretty nice rough selection if you hit q you can go into quick mask mode and you can see exactly where your selection is if the marching ants don't work so a couple areas we'd want to take out here so you kind of want to zoom in and we probably could take out again we're going to use this toolbar up here remove from selection kind of remove that area there that's much better and let's add two. So you kind of can do this for a while. So you get the exact selection that you want. Um, this can be actually pr pretty difficult to do, but it gives us a pretty good rough selection. A matter of fact, if we got out of quick mask mode by hitting control Z again and looked at the whole image by hitting control zero. And now with these pixels selected, we could actually do something interesting. For example, we could choose from the layer menu, layer, new, and we could do layer via cut, which will put the pixels that we had selected on their own layer. And now that they're on their own layer, we can do all sorts of interesting things. Like for example, like holding the alt key, I could put her twin on the horse too, or we could isolate these particular pixels, turn them black and white, use some kind of effect, etc. But the idea here is using the quick selection tool, we're able to make a very quick and easy selection of elements within a larger photograph. Let's take a look at a couple more here. So here we have a, a Jersey from the uh, Chicago Bulls. And here we have a guy wearing this black shirt. Now let's say I wanted to put the jersey over the shirt. Another tool I could use is the magic wand tool. With the magic wand tool, I can click areas of continuous color, like the red in the jersey, and they'll be selected. And we could add to our selection. Let's click by clicking around until we get all of the colors that are part of 
the jersey. So you can see as I'm clicking here, let me zoom in a little bit, we're selecting kind of the different areas of color and adding those to our larger selection with the magic wand. The magic wand simply takes areas of continuous color and adds them to the selection. So you have to be a little patient and get all these continuous areas. But once you do, you have a really nice, smooth selection. You can look on the edges of the shirt there and you can see how good the selection is. Sometimes I like to combine this with other selection tools because this really did a good job of selecting the edge to do a better job. For example, we could use the rectangular marquee selection in add to selection mode now and just get big chunks here inside the shirt and add those to the selection. So very quickly, we'll have a very accurate selection that includes the shirt and all the components in it. So almost done here. And I'm gonna go back to the magic wand because we get these armbands here. Now, by the way, you can see that this is a little bit pixelated. Sometimes it's difficult when what you're working with isn't particularly high resolution. It can cause selection issues because it has less pixel data to actually work with. So you gotta do a little trial and error, try some different tools together in order to make the best selection that you can. Here, we're gonna get all this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shirt out of this image and we're gonna put it in the guy, put it on the guy in the other image. All right, so we still have all of this in here. This side's a little bit better, but slowly here we're getting the shirt all selected. We've got all of the center area. And once we're done again, we can cut it out of this image and put it on the other image. All right, almost done. And I'm just gonna finish it off here using the marquee tool and just kind of select these, what I call little pools in here that didn't get selected. And now we've got a pretty good selection around the shirt. We look in quick mask mode, not too bad. Oops, you know what we missed up here was the collar. So let's get our magic wand tool one more time and let's do the color. So what it's doing is it's looking at continuous areas of the same color and adding those to the selection. Now, obviously there's hundreds of little shades of red and white in here. And unfortunately the mannequin that this shirt is on is white as well. So those things all make this selection more challenging. You can see as I click in here, we get part of the mannequin. The only thing we can really do about that is reduce the tolerance. And the tolerance simply indicates how many shades on either side of the color we selected are included in the selection. So here we'll select fewer pixels in an irregular selection, but we'll have more control. We're less likely to select parts of the mannequin or the background. All right, I think that's as good as we're going to do. So now let's go ahead and let's take these pixels from this image and put them in the other image. So in this case, again, I'm just gonna choose edit and copy. And let's go to the man with his hand on his hips. Let's see if we can put him in this shirt here. And here you see what the difference of resolution does. Because of the difference in the resolution between these two pictures, it's kind of difficult to use them both. You can also see areas where kind of chunks of the shirt were taken out because we didn't do a perfect job in the selection. But with the transform tool here, which I access with control T, we're kind of getting him into the bull's jersey. Make it a little wider, there we go. So now we've got our guy in this bull's jersey. And if we zoom out, Oh, not too terrible. Looks like he's actually wearing it. This little area of his pants here, I'd probably want to delete that just to make the whole thing a little more realistic. And we can also fix his collar with some of the paint tools. But there you go. We've selected now using the magic wand tool, the quick selection tool, and we looked at the lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. All great ways to make irregular selections in Photoshop.